guys, uh, welcome to a little weekly video discussion. We did the poll this week, um, I only had two topics and the topics were meal planning, easy meal planning, and then the easy holiday hair. So they actually tied, um, it was 50-50. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I figured it would be easier to do the, um, the vlog this week on the easy holiday hair. That way I can just show you guys kind of step by step how to go through it. And then I'm actually gonna put the meal planning on the blog. So you guys will get both since both had equal votes. It'll just be one will be written and then one will be here on the vlog, the video tutorial. So uh, like I said, this is easy holiday hair and I'm gonna first start by showing you guys some of the products that I used in my last video to prep my hair because I just told you guys about them. I didn't actually show you. So the, this style that I'm going to show you guys works best if you wash your hair the day before and blow it out that day. Um, or you can blow it out the day of. It's just you're going to have to rough it up a little more just to give it a little bit more hold. So that's what I did yesterday. I washed my hair, blew it out um, with these products. And so first I put in the Joyco. It's K-Pack Color Therapy. You can kind of see that. And then I do the It's a 10 Blow Dry or miracle, miracle, blow, miracle blow Dry Lotion. So that's this one. And you don't need a lot of this. Um, I'd say about the size of a dime. And you, I just kind of rub it in my hands and then put a little bit at my root and then rub it in really good on my ends. So this is um, a heat protectant and it just also helps to smooth it. And then the last thing I do is I put in just like a drop of the Super Skinny and this I just run through my ends and it's just to get it um, a little smoother help with the frizz when you're blowing it out so then after you've blown your hair out um for this like i said you want to do it the day before but if you just blow it out the day of that's fine too and i'm actually going to show you guys a couple different variations just because um i want to i want to give you guys something that if you have short hair like me it works or if you have longer hair it works as well so i'm gonna and also some people don't like to part their hair the same way um so i'm going to show you first i'm going to do it all back um and then I'll part it down the middle and I'll part it kind of like where my part's falling down. Just so people can have some different options and you can kind of visualize it better if you're someone who always wears it in the middle or you always wear it back or you always wear it kind of heavier part. So anyway, so I'm going to show you guys what you need first and I'm also going to include a picture probably, hopefully for the thumbnail of the video if I can get that all figured out um, because I've been struggling with that. But anyway, so you just need bobby pins like such and um some of you if you have longer hair i'm gonna tell you that you're gonna need some of these just small elastics um and i'm not gonna be able to really show you as much because my hair is not long anymore but i'm gonna tell you kind of what you would want to do to bundle more of your hair up so you have less to work with um and you're not having to pin all of it up if it's super long and super thick down to your butt whatever it may be um, you're going to want to pull a lot of it out of the way rather than pinning it like I'm going to show you just because it's going to save you time and it's going to save you effort. Um, and then I'm just going to suggest you guys the bobby pins that I get. You can get these at Sally's um, or Cosmoprof if you have a license. You can get a Cosmoprof and get them a cosmetology license. So, But if you don't, you can go to Sally's and they're called the Metagrip. Um, these are just the ones that I found work the best because... They're not as flimsy as the other ones that you would get from Walmart or wherever. Or even the ones you can get from Sally's that are in the purple boxes. Those are just a little more flimsy. So the Medicrit bobby pins are great. Uh, and just one more thing before we get started. Don't, I don't ever, I mean some people might tell you different, but I just like to keep these as strong as I can. So I don't ever open them like this before I put them in my hair. I keep them closed. And also you're going to want this curvy side here to be the one that's, against your scalp so you don't want this curvy side sticking out because this curvy side is what's going to give you the grip and the hold that you need to keep your hair up for whatever party you're going to if you're going to be dancing whatever it is you need as much hold and as much strength as you can get so curvy side towards your head don't open the bobby pin and i'm just going to show you a little piece of my hair just to kind of demonstrate how you're going to want to put it in your hair so typically i will push it into the hair like this and then you can turn it however you want whatever and then you're gonna just wanna stick it into your hair. Obviously you're not gonna wear it like this, but just trying to show you guys kind of how to pin it and how you're gonna get the most hold out of your body pins. So let me just try to wrestle this out of my, wrestle this out of my hair. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you guys how to do it if you wanna do it straight back. And it's gonna be, this is gonna be an updo, but it's super easy, super fast. And it's just, it's pretty, it's casual, but chic. So it's just kind of, if you want to do something a little different for a holiday party, then just curl your hair. 
All right, so you guys are also gonna need a comb, and this is just for teasing. Um, when you when you guys watch me tease some of this, just make sure that you're paying attention because when you back comb, you don't wanna back comb like this and back comb it all to the same spot because then you're gonna have a really hard time brushing your hair out. So instead, what you wanna do is back comb once down and then once again, but you're meeting on top of it. So each time you're like stacking, you're not going as far down as you did the first time. So think of it, like I said, as you're stacking the hair, you're not meeting or you're not pushing the comb down all the way to the same spot every time. So you're gonna go one and then a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher until you get as much um, teasing as you want. And you can make this as big or as flat as you want. Um, I just kind of like right in the middle. So I'm just going to speed this up for you guys. And then um, some parts I'm going to slow it down again so I can show you the back. And I'm going to try to film myself doing it this way so you guys can see kind of what I'm, how your hands are supposed to look. And then I'm going to turn around so you guys can see how I'm actually pinning the hair. Uh, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with pushing it back like I said, and I'm just gonna tease it first and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop about halfway through now. Um, and this is actually a look you could kind of do if you really wanted to. You could just curl the ends or really keep it really straight. But I just wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna turn myself around and show you how the back should be looking. So basically what I did I just teased it, pulled it, so I pulled that half up section that I teased back and I pinned that. So what I do is I twist whatever I've just um, teased, twist that, and then you put two bobby pins in. So you're gonna, once again, keep the curvy side down and just kind of go like this to get pick up the hair and then you're gonna press it down, diagonally down like this. And then you're gonna bring the other bobby pin diagonally down the other way so they should make an X. And that's gonna be your anchor and that's gonna kind of be what you pin everything to. So you don't wanna do that too high up in your head but you don't wanna do it too low. Um, it's just gonna kind of depend where, how high or low you want the rest of your hair to sit on the back of your head. If you want it to be on your neck, if you want it to be off your neck, that's gonna kind of depend where, or determine where you put your pins. So let me turn around and I can show you guys uh, how the back is looking so far. Okay, so all I did was the pieces on the side, I just took one back and pinned it all the way on the other side and the other back and pinned it on the opposite side. So the reason you do that is just to kind of give it um, a little bit more of a sophisticated look. So they're gonna just smoothly cross over one another. Typically I would be using black bobby pins on my hair just because they blend in better. Um, because right now you can kind of see the bobby pins, but um, it's easier to hide them, like I said, if you choose the color that matches more your hair. And if I was doing this on someone else, I would be able to hide them a lot better, but it's really hard when you can't see the back of your head, so I'm just kind of working with what I have. Um, so now I'm gonna speed it back up, and I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna start showing you the front, and then I'm gonna show you the back one I'm, as I'm finishing, um, so you guys can get a better idea of how I'm pinning. the first uh, variation of it and really all I did if you can't tell by the video is I'm just gonna demonstrate with this piece each piece that I kind of took I just parted from wherever and I twisted it and then all I did was like loop it and then I would pin it in um, and it's okay if it looks messy that's kind of the point you you can kind of see from the side like it's it's messy and things are sticking out and if you don't like it like that you can just take another bobby pin and scoop that up and pin it down but I like it like that because I don't really like anything too put together um, so now all I'm going to do is take a flat iron, and you can also do this with a curling iron. And I'm just going to lightly curl these pieces that are hanging down. And I'm going to do a twist out. So kind of, if you guys watch my other video, my tutorial video, the same concept. So I don't necessarily curl it, curl it. I just start, pull it back, and then twist it down and out. Um, and I don't even want those that curly. I want to actually flat iron them up just a little bit more. So, just to calm that wave down a little bit. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, and that's pretty much it for if you want to wear it straight back. Um, and you can even leave these pieces straight if you want. I might actually go back and straighten them. I don't really know if I'm liking them curled. But if you like them curled, then that's great. Wear them curly. If you don't like them curly, don't wear them curly. Wear them straight. So yeah, so this is if you wear it straight back. And you can kind of see, I'm going to turn to the side and get a little closer for you guys. This is how it's going to look from the sides. And it's never going to turn out exactly the same every time you do it. So just kind of play around with it. And if you don't like the, the way you've pinned it, then you can always um, unpin it and try it again. I'm going to take pictures of the back so you guys can kind of see what this one is looking like. And then I'm going to take this all down and do something a little bit different. And also for the people who have longer hair, if you do want to do this look, um, whether it's parted this way or down the middle or to the side, you can still do this. But what I would recommend is taking this half up, not even half up, like just kind of the crown of your head. That's what you're going to tease and pin first to give you just that little bit of volume. And then on the bottom, I would actually suggest doing it a little bit different so you don't have to pin as much. So I would kind of bundle it up into a ponytail and then from there you pin. So if you have the longer hair, you could take one, or even if you have shorter hair and it's just a little longer than mine, you could take one of these elastics and just kind of pull it about here, like kind of this, well pull it to the center of your head, um, a little bit up off your neck and you're just going to tie it with the elastic. And then those pieces out of the ponytail, you can just separate from the ponytail and twist and pin. So it's just going to save you a little bit of time and also give you a better base so that it'll be more even if you're not used to just like randomly pinning your hair. Um, because it, it can be kind of hard to get it centered if you're not used to that. So that ponytail is just gonna gather it all to one spot and help you branch out the pins from there. That way it's gonna look more wholesome and not like you have a whole bunch of hair on this side and none on this side. So I'm gonna take this down and show you guys just a couple more different, or I guess maybe probably just one more different look. Um, where you don't have to pin it all up, you can do the half up kind of kind of look. And like I said, it's really easy. And if you don't have naturally straight hair, you can also do this with curly hair. It actually adds just a lot of texture. Or if you have naturally straight hair and you want to, or if you didn't blow your hair out, whatever, um, you can just take the curling iron and just go, like you would go back and forth on it a little bit. So this way, that way, this way, or sorry, the straightener. Um, just because it gives a little bit of bend in the hair, so it just adds a little extra body. If you if you have really um, sleek hair, if you have really fine hair, just to give it a little more grit so you can have something to pin. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys just um, an easier, well, oh, different variation. If you're going to part your hair in the middle, so let's bring this to the middle. Sorry. Okay, and my hair's probably not going to lay that great just because it wasn't parted to the middle. Um... So if you part your hair to the middle, really you're going to do the same thing. Um, I would just tease, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, I'm just going to kind of show you guys how to make it different for when you're wearing it to the middle. So I would just kind of take a little oval section in your crown, and then this is going to be the section that you're going to tease, and you're just going to twist that and pin that there. Um, and I'll just show you guys this part. So I'm twisted that, pinned that there, and I didn't tease it, but I probably would have teased it a little bit if I was actually going to wear it like this. So, pin your X in the back, there's that, and then these pieces you're just going to take and swoop them back. So you're going to cross them over the same way that you would have if um, you were wearing it straight back like I showed you guys. You're just going to have it parted. And those pieces in the front that were pinned and crossed over and pinned, I mean, are still going to be crossed over and pinned. So after I pin those in, I'm going to show you guys how to just make this look a little better. Um, so you don't want it, obviously, to look too flat in here. So you're just going to, you can kind of, if you want to, you could tease these sides just to give a little bit of more uh, body in through there. And then I would just pull some pieces out. Just some pieces for you to play with. Um to keep around your face. Just some little baby hairs and things like that. And then like I did the last time, this you would all just kind of pin, pull this, twist, twist this, and pin it back, pin it back, pin it back. Um, and there's how you have it if you're gonna wear it with a middle part. And like I said, just kind of 
pull some pieces out, leave them, leave them down, or you can pin it all back if you want it to be more, more sleek. Um, and then obviously these you would just curl a little bit. And like I said, you can straighten these and wear them straight if you like it, but I typically just put a little bit of a curl in there. And you don't have to leave these out at all. You can keep it all back if you want. I just think that that looks a little too, like, I don't know, school teacher or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can just kind of see how that shape would happen if you're going to wear it to the middle. If you part it over here or to the other side, whichever, it doesn't really matter. Um, then the same thing. Just kind of pull this crown back. Tease it if you want. Don't tease it if you don't want to. And if you don't tease it, um, it actually can work the same as long as you're pinning it tight enough. Because then you can just pull some pieces to give it a little more texture. And then it's just got more of that like loose, undone look. Um, and then the same thing straight back like I did on the other look. And then the same thing. So once these are pinned, you're just going to twist all this back. And twist all this up. Take down your pieces that you want to play with. And then it would all be pinned. And like I said, you can obviously tease it to just give it some more volume in through there. Um, but this is just kind of, like I said, I'm just trying to tweak it a little bit for you guys who might wear different parts um, and show you just kind of what it might look like. Obviously, it's not going to look like that because I would have done a better job if I was really going to wear it like this. Um, and then I just think it's really cute if you have these pieces down, just curl them, wear them straight. This piece I probably would keep back just because it's a little heavy. Um, but if you want one of those pieces in the front, take one of the pieces in the front. Um, so really that's kind of why I like this look and why I chose it to show you guys for the easy holiday hair look. Because, I mean, obviously you can see when you take your hair out, it doesn't look a mess. So if you're going to um, be dancing a lot and then you just decide, you know, you want to take your hair out because you're tired of the pins, then you can do that. And it's not going to, it's not going to look like a rat's nest because... If you're teasing properly and only, you know, taking them down on top of each other, remember, stack the tees instead of bringing it all to the same level, then your tees isn't going to be hard to brush out. And then the pins are, I mean, all you're doing is twisting your hair and pinning it. So if anything, it's just going to give it a little more body when you do take it out. And like I said, you can play with it. You can keep the pieces down to keep it a little more messy. You can put it all back and make it look really sleek if you want. Um, and then just remember my long hair girls, if you uh, need to just kind of get some of your hair out of the way, just pull it all, well not pull it all back, but after you tease that crown section, pull that lower half back. Um, kind of, I would pull it like about, about here. That way it's kind of low and not too high. And then from there, you're just going to pull all those pieces that I was pinning. You're just going to pull them from the ponytail and pull them to this side or to the other side, it doesn't matter. As long as you're trying to make it look wholesome, just keep that in mind. You don't want the left side to be more full than the than the right or vice versa. So all you're gonna do is from that ponytail, just pull them, twist them and loop them and just pin it. And like I said, don't worry about it really looking super clean unless you're somebody who wants like a super clean look. Then um, what I would suggest for you is if you kind of take that ponytail, um, that you're gonna do and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna kind of try to do it with guys this isn't really not gonna look good but I'm just trying to show those girls who have the longer hair or who like the cleaner look so just take your ponytail and this would be at the bottom of your hair I just can't really pull mine up the way I want to because it's too short but this is what you would do at the bottom instead you would put the ponytail in and then take this kind of separate this so you make a little hole and then you're just going to flip your ponytail inside of it. And like I said, please don't think that this is supposed to look good because it's not. But if it if it was lower on my head, it would look a little better. Um, so yeah, so you're going to do that and you guys can kind of see how that flipping it inside out just kind of gives it a little twist. Um, it just makes it, dresses it up a little bit. And then what you would do with your longer hair, that's way longer than mine probably, um, with your ponytail that's hanging out after you flip it. You would just back comb the inside here and then all you're going to do is wrap your hair into each other or into itself so you would wrap it like like a little roll and then you would just pin that all around and so it's kind of like a little chignon um hang on. all right so that's what you can do if you like i said want it to be a little cleaner or if you have longer hair and you don't feel like pinning it all randomly you can just do a ponytail flip it inside out tease the 
tease this part, the part that's closest to your head. You're going to tease that part of the ponytail and then literally just roll it into each other and pin it. Um, and that's going to give you, like I said, more of like a chignon look and it's just going to be a little bit cleaner for you. All right, so now you guys have seen um, kind of just the different variations for your different parts or for those of you uh, who like that cleaner look or for those of you who like the messy. So I did kind of both parts and every side of this that I could to try to please everybody and give everybody a look that works for them that's easy, that's fast, um, and that looks really cute. So, all right, so I tried to cover all the bases and just kind of make sure that this look was something that, or the, look that, the looks that I was showing you guys were something that would work for people who wear their hair parted different ways, um, for people who like a sleek look, a messy look. So, um, like I said, you can tweak this look in so many different ways but just the tips that I told you are um, enough for a starting point and like I said it creates just a really fun quick easy holiday look and there's something there for everybody um and actually even this kind of I know it looks a little bit a little bit messy but I like my hair messy so it kind of works for me but this is really all I did was um, just so I could finish this video I just uh, kind of left my hair pinned back like it was and then whatever was hanging out instead of pinning it I just twisted it into like a little donut and pinned that in my head so you can also do this if you're just um, looking for something to spice up your daily life or even a holiday party the same thing so it, it's sorry my dogs are trying to get in so it's just uh, half up versus all the way up um, and I hope that this really was helpful to you guys. I'm trying to show how to do this on yourself from every angle. So I tried to show some of the back and some of me doing it from the front, just so you guys can kind of get an idea of how your hands are supposed to look and move, because I know it can be hard. Um, and don't just, like, if you have a holiday party coming up, don't just watch this video once and then, you know, just try it the day of, because until you really get your hands in your hair, um, it's kind of hard to get a really good hang on it and be able to do it fast and be able to have it be really simple for you uh, because I, I'm someone who does hair every day. So yeah, it's easy for me, but I do believe this is truly easy for you guys. And I think anybody is capable of creating this look. Um, just like I said, just get your hands in your hair and play with it a little bit before your party or before you really actually want to wear the style just so that... Um, you know, you can feel confident about your look and just be ready to get those compliments on your hair. Um, and then if you do, just tell them to check out a little weekly video discussion so they can check out the tutorial for themselves if they haven't. And like I said, in all my other videos, just any suggestion suggestions you guys have for me, I'm open, I'm all ears to hear them. Um, and there will be another poll up and like I said I should have already posted the blog about the meal plans so if I haven't already I might I will be doing that this upcoming week so that since the polls were tied both of those topics get discussed. So I hope you guys have a great Sunday and um, thank you so much for watching I always appreciate my viewers so just be on the lookout for the poll for next week uh, that will be on Instagram and maybe on Facebook. I'm trying to figure out how to post more than four uh, options on Facebook. So it may or may not be on Facebook, but be on the lookout if you have an Instagram. And if you don't, I'm going to post it on a-b-o-e.com and it'll be on the a little week weekly video discussion tab. Uh, the, the topics will be listed and you guys can just message me whatever topic it is that you want to vote for if you don't have Instagram. Um, and that's, like I said, it's a-b-o-e.com, which is standing for a little bit of everything in case you guys don't know. Um, but yeah, like I said, have a great Sunday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.